Hello everyone, it's Brent. Uh, I'm here to talk about some very interesting things today for you. I have some a really cool song. Uh, the song is a country song. Uh, and I have lyrics too. If you will look on your right, uh, you'll see the song with YouTube. Uh, definitely watch the song as well as I have lyrics for the song for you guys, right? Uh, so the song is by a country singer that is very popular. Uh, hello, hello everyone. Uh, if you can hear me okay, let me know with a plus or minus sign uh, on chat. Okay, so... Ah, Irina, hello. Uh, Victoria, hello, thank you so much. Um, so, uh, again, so I have a country song with you guys. Uh, it's a southern song from from the south. It's what uh, it's what most of us listen to from the southern United States. Uh, they speak about heartbreak. They speak about many different things, uh, going from good times to to sad times as well. Uh, so it's by Brooks and Dunn. It's called Only in America. And I wanted to share with you so you know more about uh, the American culture. Uh, so not only do I have the song here, I also have lyrics. So if you can't find on your own, uh, definitely uh, click on the uh, Only in America uh, document that I shared with you. And it's the lyrics of the song so you can follow along and learn. Uh, you'll hear this word ain't a lot. I know the last couple of times I spoke with you, uh, the first time I spoke with you, we use this word ain't, right? Ain't God. So this song uses this too, right? And, and it's a lazy way to say is not, honestly. So this song uses this, this wording as well. Uh, but there's some videos, it shows you some, uh, some, some ways that, America speaks with you in 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 ways. It, it shares like uh, some, some videos on how we live, and especially in the South, not so much the North, but the South. Uh, so it's a very popular group, Brooks and Dunn, and I do want to want to encourage you all to listen to the song. Uh, Brooks and Dunn have many different songs for you. Uh, but only in America, since we're speaking about America today, uh, they will tell you a few a few lyrics for this. Okay, uh, so today we were going to speak about some American food, some burgers, some hot dogs, uh, and some restaurants we have, uh, so that you'll have a better understanding, and hopefully you guys will all in you know, come to America at one point or have a better understanding, right? So um, I'm hoping that this will be uh, very interesting for you. Uh, uh, so let's see. So you have the American Dunn, or I'm sorry, Brooks and Dunn, Only in America. And you'll look at the lyrics here. To make this bigger, I know it's a little small for you guys. Uh, you can click on the left bottom plus sign uh, and now I'll make this a little bit bigger so you can see I do apologize for it to be such small wording uh, so and I'll explain a little bit more right so the song and only in America it starts with Sun coming up over New York City school bus driver in a traffic jam so if for those of you that don't know a traffic jam is when you're driving and you can't go any further because there's so many cars in the way. Can you guys relate to this? Uh, so this traffic jam, it's stopping everything, right? Uh, you're waiting to go, you're just going two or three minutes down the street and you can't go because the car in front of you is not going anywhere, right? Uh, so that's what a traffic jam is. You can't go anywhere because there's so many cars. Uh, so staring at the faces in the rear view mirror. Uh, a rear view mirror is this mirror inside of the car that you look to see behind you. It's because it's behind which rear, right? 
Uh, so looking at the promise of the promised land, uh, I know that some it's so what they're saying here, the promised land is saying that it's such a great land that it's promising such great opportunities, right? And that's how some people see this, is America being uh, a promise of great opportunities. So that's what he's saying here. One kid dreams, or I'm sorry, yes. So one kid dreams of fame and fortune. Uh, one kid helps pay the rent. So while one kid's hoping that maybe he can be famous and he can have a lot of money, and the other kid is working very hard to, to help his family. So that's what he's doing. That's what they're speaking about. And, and, and in the South, it's common for people to, uh, to help the family. So children at 14 or 15 years old, they're working some jobs to pay, to pay bills, right? So a bill is electricity, so, so light, to charge your phones, to charge your tablets, to charge, uh, you know, to, to be able to cook food right, to stay warm, to have a lot of different uh, things that we have today that maybe some of us don't really think about as being important, right, and uh, so that's what he's speaking about, is doing this hard job at such a young age, uh, being a kid, being a child or a children. Uh, one could end up going to prison, one just might be president, so it shows how diverse and I'm going to share this in chat with you guys, too. So diverse, right? To be diverse. Diverse is to be different. Diverse means to be different. So America is a diverse country because there's so many different cultures. So, uh, so that's what that means. It's like one kid or one child can be, uh, he's... You know, he can go to prison, he can be nothing, and what could one child could be anything. It's about your choice, and that's what this country song is about. Right? And only in America, and that's what he's telling. So here in America, you have this choice. You can you can do your hard job to be something, or you can do nothing and be nobody. Right? So that's what this means when he says uh, one child that can end up being uh being or going to prison and one child could be going to president to be a president and only in america and dreaming in red white and blue so for those that don't know uh our colors are red white and blue to uh so red white and blue so red would be like the bloodshed to protect this uh White being the different states because the stars are white. Yes, if you look on the American flag, it's white. And so, and that represents, there's 50 stars. Uh, so that represents the 50 states, right? Uh, and the blue rep represents, uh, for example, uh, unity, how we're all together, right? So how we're all together. Uh, only in America. Uh, so if you continue to read, uh, where we dream as big as we want to. So that means that uh, to dream as big as you want to. So whatever you're dreaming about, whatever you want, you can take. You have this opportunity. So if you want to be president, if you want to be uh, famous, as long as you put this hard work in, you can do this. Uh, and they keep saying only in America. Where, where we dream big as we want to. Uh, we all get a chance. So, I mean, no matter where you're from, you can be from Germany, you can be from Russia, you can be from Africa, anywhere in the world you can be. But when you come to America, you, you, you have this chance. It doesn't matter where you're from originally. It doesn't matter where your parents are from. And you have this chance, right? Uh, so you have this, and that's what they're speaking about. And in the South, we're very open. We have such a big heart. Uh, and for you guys uh, listening today, tell me, do you um, do you have this? Do you have this feeling that it doesn't matter where you're from? Do you do you have this feeling that uh, it doesn't? Uh, you know, can you relate? 
So to, to relate means to, and I'll, and I'll type this in chat for you too. So to relate means to, uh, to think about, uh, to think the same, right? So to think the same. Write this here. So to think the same. Uh, that's what relate means, right? So, uh, so do you guys have this? Can you relate to this? Is there in your country or where you're from? Can you? Does it matter where you're from? Does it matter who your parents are, right? Uh, I know here and or there in the United States that uh, if you're Asian, if you're if you're Russian, if you're German, or if you're European in general, it doesn't matter uh, because you all have the same chance. You have the opportunity to take this. And that word opportunity, I think that's a special word, right? So opportunity is something you have, you have the ability to, to make something better of yourself, right? So it's the same, and that's what they're saying in the song. And in the South, they're very big about having opportunity and treating people with kindness. And it's it's a very special word, I think, uh, to be able to relate to this. It's it's because we, in the southern United States, uh, and in the north too, I don't want to take this away from the north. The, the south, they, they truly, uh, they care about people. If you come into the south, and uh, for the south United States, like Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Texas, uh, it doesn't matter who you are. They want to, to show you love, right? They want to show you this this enjoyment. Uh, so it's it's something purely purely simple, and it's it, they want to show you that that you know that they're kind and they wish you the best. And I think in all countries can relate in some kind of way, right? So remember to relate is to think the same, and to feel the same. Not just the thing, but to feel this. So in the song, uh, where we dream as big as we want to, we all get a chance, remember? Uh, so everybody gets a chance, only in America. And when they wrote this song, there was a lot of... Uh, they wanted to make sure that you understand that uh, it doesn't matter. And that's what they're saying in the song, that... Only in America, because some countries don't maybe don't believe this. I don't know, and it, and if I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh, you know, if if you get a chance, if you don't, uh, you know, if you get a chance, you can do something. So only in America, where we dream as big as we want to, we all get a chance. Everybody gets to dance. So that means that everybody gets the opportunity. And it's what they're saying so much in this song. Uh, only in America. Sun going down on an L.A. freeway. So when you hear L.A., it's a short uh, explanation of Los Angeles. And it's because it's so busy. Because a lot of people do want to come to the United States. They want to see everything. They want to see Hollywood. Um, so it's busy, though, right? But it doesn't matter if it's busy or not, you still get a chance. Uh, newlyweds in the back of a limousine. So uh, this limousine is this huge car that you can fit a lot of people in. Uh, a welder's son. So a welder, for those you don't know, a welder is a person who makes steel together, right? And it's a hard job. It's hot. It's sweaty. Uh, a welder's son and a banker's daughter. So what he's saying here is this uh, banker's daughter is uh, it's an easier job to be a banker because you get to wear these nice clothes. You don't have to sweat so much. You're not doing such a hard job, right? So you have this hot job as a welder's son. And then you have this easier job where you get to be nice and clean and not sweat being in the, in the cold or being comfortable. Uh, so, uh, 
So tell me, you guys, about a job that you do that is easier for you. Not just about a bank, but about something that is easier for you. To share with me as well about a job that is harder. And think and think of a way to make a different work for this. Um, not just about a job, but a career, right? There's the difference between a job that you must do and a career that you choose to do, right? So think about this as, as, when you write this. So think about of a job that you want to do and a job that you have to do. So there's a career and then there's a job. So share this with me. Uh, what's a what's something like a you know and it's something I I imagine too it's it's my grandmother used to tell me that if you work uh, a career that you really enjoy you don't work at all it's a hobby you enjoy and it's something I'm doing with you guys now right so I enjoy doing this so it's not like I'm working uh, of course if you get paid to do something uh, that you that you want to do it's it's super cool uh so you guys give me an example of something that you want to do uh that you're that's fun for you uh that you get to pay to do tell me an example right uh, or if it's something you don't do now it's, tell me something you want to do in the future that you're working for a goal right uh, i want to know these um so to continue with the lyrics though so she came out here to be an actress uh he was a singer in a band all right and they just might go back to oklahoma and oklahoma is this uh more simple town right it's a more simple state it's easier it's like a farm or a village for example and talk about the stars they could have been so one wanted to be in a, to make music, one wanted to make movies. And so it's these big ideas, right? These huge ideas. Uh, I want to make music. She wanted to be an actress, for example. She wanted to be in movies. So easy money, easier thing. But they might just go to Oklahoma and work and live a normal life. It's your choice. And that's what they're telling you. So only in America that you can have this choice, and that's what they're telling, about freedom, about uh, what you want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you keep reading, uh, it's the same, uh, where we dream in red, white, and blue, uh, only in America, where we dream as big as we want to. Uh, we all get a chance, everybody gets to dance, only in America. Yeah, only in America. You keep hearing this, right? And I'm sure I know a lot of countries, especially me being in Russia. Ah, Irina, let's see. You had something to say? One moment. Ah, really? So you got to test the software for about two years. You never thought I, I, you, that you would do this. Uh, so tell me. Uh, do you enjoy doing this, though? Do you enjoy? Do you like to test software? So it shows, it, you, you know, that you never thought you'd get to do this. Uh, when you tell me this, but you do this now, right? It's, it's hard work, right? And it shows that you should continue trying, yes? So, um... So that's super cool, you know, when you get to do something... You like when you can, okay? Yes, absolutely. So when you get the chance to do this, it, it gives you motivation, right? So motivation. If you don't know this word either, so motivation is like, it's it's the energy, it's the it's the driving force. So energy, so energy to continue, right? here so it's energy to continue motivation uh, so when you continue and you have this this driving force this this stuff that pushes you more when you get to do something and you see this you realize something that you're doing right yeah absolutely so when, we, when you see this and it works and you're like wow that's super cool 
I've always wanted to do this. I'm doing this now. And it, it gives you um, it gives you inspiration. It gives you more reason to continue because you do something that's so hard that you didn't think you could do before and you continue. And that, I think that's amazing. And Arena, I'm very glad that you get to, you know, that you're doing this. It's very important, you know, because in everyday life, we have bills to pay, we have food to buy, we have a lot of things to do. Uh, but when you do something that you love, it's a special feeling, I think. You know, and, and it's, um, I know speaking with you guys, it's a special feeling for me. And it's because I enjoy to share my culture with you. And, you know, and if you guys are maybe one day want to visit the United States and, and speaking or listening to me today helps you to understand more, uh, I know that that gives me more motivation. It gives me more inspiration to do more things that I want to do in the future, right? So it's super, super cool. And uh, never forget about your dreams. Right? And that's what this song is about. So, uh, only in America. Right? And and I don't want you guys to think it's only in America. Uh, it could be in your country too. Right? But it, uh, we like to think, uh, as Americans, we like to think that uh, it's something special for us. Right? Um, so, to kind of go on a little bit further, we talked about uh, the song a little bit. Uh, to give you more an idea of how the South is. South America or the South United States. Uh, I know I spoke with you guys last week. I told you I would share some more pictures about uh, what we do for fun. We talked about camping, right? Uh, spending 20 or 30 days out in the forest uh, and, and having fun with everybody. Uh, so, uh, and I told you about mud riding. Right. So mud riding is where we get together, we're going camping, we get dirty. Uh, and that's if you look in the presentations, you'll see some pictures I shared with you. These pictures, just to show a little bit what mud riding is. Uh, so if you look at like this next picture, it's like a Jeep. It's super wet and muddy and dirty, right? So that's what we're doing. We're getting muddy and, and having fun. We're making easy things with such simple things like dirt and mud and some things. Uh, and this is, you can do this without money, right? So this is what we did. Uh, especially in the South, it's a huge, huge uh, tradition. So we can go and have a few beers. And, and have fun and socialize so we can speak to each other and like, oh, hey, Bob, how are you doing? You know, how's the family? Uh, tell me, guys, uh, what's something that you do in, in, in your country that's, uh, that's fun for you to socialize, right? What's something that's the same that you can relate to, right? Remember this word, relate. So it's the same as. Uh, so what's something that's the same that you guys do? Do you go mud riding? Uh, do you do you have something similar? Do you uh, do you go out to drink? Do you go out for a dinner to socialize? Or do you just message with your phone? Uh, share with me in the comments. Let me know in the chat room. It's special because to speak with one in, when uh, speak with each other, I think is very uh, very important because you understand more, right? You understand uh, things, and it doesn't matter where you're from. I think you can speak different languages and you can understand uh, different cultures, but there's always something that you can relate to. It doesn't matter what. Uh, it's about feelings and emotions and uh, it's important. Uh, so for us in America, a lot of our Southern America, like the Mississippi, uh, the South, it's super special to go mud riding, to go camping, to even go hunt for food. Right, so if it's killing, if it's uh, eating deer or venison, that's what we call it. Go to the gym. So, Miss Victoria, you like to go to the gym. So, very cool. So, do you socialize at the gym, Miss Victoria? Do you get to speak with other people? Do you share ideas? Do you share music? Oh, uh, what are some things you do at the gym? A little bit. That's that's super cool. Uh, what about ways to exercise? Do you get to do this? Do you get to share different uh, ways to uh, to really uh, 
to make your day better, right? You get to share this with the, uh, as you're going to the gym. Simultaneously, very good, That's cool. So it's the same for us, so I can relate with this. So for the people in the South, uh, United States, mud riding is a lot of things that everybody does. It's much like going to the gym. It's exactly like going to the gym. So we like to get dirty, we like to have fun. In general, just think of having fun. Uh, so that's what we do, is we go mud riding. We get dirty with this. Uh, and we have fun, we listen to music, like this song, Brooks and Dunn. We'll, we all share the song uh, and other songs by them. Uh, and that's a great word you use too, Miss Victoria. So simultaneously. Uh, so for those of you that don't know this word, simultaneously, uh, that means together at the same time. Simultaneously. Uh, thank you so much for sharing that word too. That's, that's a fantastic word to use. Okay, simultaneously. So that means to at the same time. So for example, to use this word for you guys that don't know, so I, I speak and think simultaneously. Uh, it's fantastic. So that means at the same time that I'm speaking, I'm thinking, right? So it's not like I'm just speaking, but I'm thinking. So that's a great word. And thank you so much for sharing that, Miss Victoria. That's an awesome word to use. Uh, very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, so mud running, we're listening to country music in the south. And in the north, we use other things as well. We use uh, barbecues. Ah, Arena of the Sea. A feature of my city is a historic event, the landing of Yuri Gagarin. You know, I just learned about him. And if I'm not mistaken, every year on April 12th, yes, the festival takes place at the landing site. They prepare delicious food, arrange races on SUVs and concert. That is so cool. So that's Astronauts Day, yes? That's super cool because for me, I can relate because I love space. Right? Is it, am I correct about Yuri Gargarin? Yes, absolutely. Okay, fantastic. See, I'm, I'm learning something more every day. It's super cool. Uh, so that's very cool. So they delicious food, arrange races on SUVs and concerts. So it's the same in some kind of ways. Uh, I think for you, though, I think uh, Yuri Gargarin is way more cooler, honestly. I find that very fascinating. Space is something I think every country in the world is um, is together on. It doesn't matter what uh, where you come from, what your culture is in general. I think space brings us all together. So it's super, super cool. Uh, anytime we can get together and we all can relate on one thing, which is understanding of who we are and and where we come from and what surrounds us. That's it's amazing, right? I agree. That's so cool. And being here in Russia, I've learned more about space. And it's it's absolutely astonishing, right? Astonishing. So it surprises me more and more. That's, that's super cool. Thank you for sharing that too, Arena. I really appreciate you sharing that. Uh, so races on SUVs. So it's kind of the same. Do you get muddy? Do you get dirty with this? Like a, uh, this... So with these with this delicious food, I know I was here for Maslitsa, uh here in, in Shalabinsk, and that was very interesting for me too. Uh, so like so that delicious food shaslik was something I had for the first time being here. So that was super cool for me. Uh, so it it's shaslik is much like how we have in the United States. It's this meat uh, that we cook as barbecue. And we'll put this on, we'll almost make a burger out of this, right? Cool, right? Right, so it's it's like a barbecue. So uh, with a special sauce, and we'll have this with fries, or potato fries, right? I know some, or chips, for those of you that are in Europe, right? I think some of you call this chips. They like fish and chips, like fish and fries. So we'll have like barbecue with these chips 
and we'll have a lot of different uh, foods that we have. Potato salad, uh, we will have a lot of different foods with this. So that's super cool too. Uh, and we'll have this with our mud riding events, for example. And you guys can check out these pictures too, and just to show you more of what mud riding is. And mud, for the guys, mud is dirt and water mixed together, and it makes a mess. And some vehicles can't pass, and we get this everywhere. I know that I was telling you guys about this last lesson, the last time I spoke. Uh, so just I wanted to share some pictures, really, for you guys to understand more of what this is. And we build cars for this. We spend we'll spend one or two or three years doing this, uh, just for special events or special things for this. And we'll get like I said, we'll get together and we'll drink beer or. Pepsi's and we'll cook some cool foods uh, for these events. Uh, of course, a lot of you know, I know a lot of you guys had a lot of questions too about food last time. We talked about McDonald's and we talked about uh, some restaurants we had, right? And a lot of you guys wanted to know more about what are some foods we had. Uh, if you will look too on the presentation I shared with you guys, uh, about American food, the PowerPoint presentation, I think that will share a lot. Uh, it shows about American diners. Uh, and a diner is, is, is just an easy word. And I'm going to write this in chat too. So, a diner. A diner is a restaurant. And a diner is a restaurant that you can, that you go and socialize, right? Much like mud riding is a thing to socialize, to speak in general. What are some other places that you guys go and uh, socialize that you speak to other people about? It doesn't have to be a diner. It can be any place. Uh, share with me. Uh, not just a restaurant or a diner, but maybe a, a park, for example. What are some other words for this, too? What are some other words that you guys have for restaurant or uh, for a diner? Uh, what are some other words that you guys have um, for this, for socializing? It's not just, about, like I said, it's not just about a restaurant. It can be about uh, a movie theater, a place to watch a cinema. Or what about a concert, right? So a concert is like music, uh, jazz. Uh, country, like I shared with you guys, this uh, Brooks and Dunn. It can be uh, many different things. A uh, park. It can be uh, anything. So where are some where are some places that you will go and meet friends to speak about life, to speak about some some different. Uh, ah, really, Arena? You said there's not tasty beer. Uh, well, tell me, what, what's your most tasty beer that you do like? And sure, what about, uh, I think you're in Berlin, yes? So, uh, what's a tasty beer that you like in Berlin? Can you tell me? Maybe I can relate. Remember this word I shared with you? Relate. Maybe it's the same. Maybe I can have some same. So, like, uh, what? It's Nemeski, right? Nemeskoya. Nemeskoya. I think that's in your language, right? Uh, it's like a Germany dark beer, Chemnoya Nomeskoya, right? I think that is Germany dark, if I'm great. My Russian is not very good. Uh, and Berlin beer is different. Really? Really? Uh, what's different about this? Is it, uh, is it a dry taste? Is it more strong? Is it more weak? Like, you know, there's dark beer, there's light, you need tasty. All right, right, I, I agree, I agree. I think uh, if you drink a beer, it should be tasty. Right, I, I Miss Victoria, yes, I agree. Maybe we should go, maybe we should go see Miss Arena. We can socialize and, and have this beer. For Oktoberfest, you know, that's something that I've always been interested in. I have... Uh, being in Alabama, for you guys that don't know something about me, I used to work for Mercedes. It used to be a job for me. I, I was around so many different cultures, uh, working at the Mercedes plant. 
And I would hear some people from Germany talking about Oktoberfest. So Miss Victoria, that's great. Thank you. And <laughs> thank you, Miss Arena. So yeah, so maybe we will. Maybe we will all get together and go and have this tasty beer, right? Uh, but working for uh, working for Mercedes, I get I got to meet uh, people from Russia. I got to meet people from Germany, people from all uh, Venezuela. I got to meet uh, people from all over the world. But one thing that I remember is Oktoberfest. Uh, is Oktoberfest and how in Germany, how like it was amazing how you got to go and try these different beers and this food and Brost. So it's like our hot dogs, right? Uh, so that's one thing I found out about Germany. It's super, super cool about how you had these different sausages. Uh, so, Miss Serena, tell me, what do you like Brost or sausages? Do you like hot dogs? Do you like these? And what about you, Miss Victoria? Do you like these as well? I know that yeah, uh, beer and hot dogs, it goes together. And I think that that's what I hear about Germany. I know in the U.S. it's the same. You have a beer and a hot dog and just be so happy. Uh, is it the same for you guys? Like, do you have this great, uh, this great taste for food and beer too? Uh, do share with me. Um, but hopefully, you know, hopefully one day uh, we all get to go and, and, and see these great things. Uh, as long as we, do, you know, we, we, if you want, you'll do this, right? Absolutely. I, that's something I believe. Uh, so, also, not only in the... Ah, you don't drink beer. Okay, I understand. Well, maybe we can go and have some tasty food. Right? Maybe we can have this... Uh, we can we can try to, to see about uh, hot dogs and and see different uh, and different meats and different vegetables, right? I completely understand. I know I drink some beer, not much. Uh, in America, we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of different kind because America is very different. We have so many different cultures. Again, we have people from all over the world. Yes, yes, I agree. I like to eat too. I love to eat. I think that's my problem. <laughs> I think I like to eat too much. Uh, and it, 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 speaking of, it's speaking of, it, and it reminds me of a slang that we use, right? Uh, and if you guys check out the PowerPoint, ah, people in Berlin drink beer all the time and everywhere on the streets. That's cool. You know, that's different. So, in the United States, uh, we don't get to drink in the streets, honestly. Yes, we have Budweiser. We have uh, Stella Artois. We have uh, Miller. We have so many different brands. Uh, we have... Uh, wow, it's hard to even, honestly, to think about this. It's a great question. Uh, so yes, so, uh, and actually you said Budweiser, and Budweiser is one of my personal favorites, honestly. Uh, or Bud Light, it's not like a lighter beer, it's more water, because I don't drink much. Um, but talking about food, for example, Miss Victoria, uh, if everyone will even look at our, uh, the presentation I shared, I shared some slang, uh, so... Uh, to lay off was one word. So I laid off a fast food. And it's in this presentation, uh, it'll show a lot of uh, slang as far as food and some things go too. And I shared some common slang too in general. Uh, right. It's not there. So low key, these are just some terminology words that we have. It's going to be in like the American food presentation. Uh, so you'll see American food, exclamation, exclamation. So in this presentation, you'll see the slang uh, with food. And also give you more information too about uh, burgers and hot dogs and, and some history of where this came from. Uh, so and then also I had the same food slang uh, 
uh, separated from this sort of three guys that wanted to just check this or wanted to see. Uh, it'll it'll talk about like laying off and picking out, right? So to lay off something means to not eat so much or in general, uh, to lay off smoking, right? To lay off smoking means to stay away from, to, to ease this, to make this less, to lay off, right? Uh, so you'll see, like, uh, for example, let's see, right, because I have slang and I have food slang, so uh, you'll see, like, for example, slang in general is just some words that you'll hear people in, in college use, some younger, but with the flu food slang, if you tell someone, oh, I'm so hungry, I just want to pig out, uh, you'll hear this word pig out, it means to eat a lot of think of a pig that eats a lot of food to pick out is the same as uh, this word you hear uh, pick out at the end of this you hear out so it doesn't make much sense right but think of this first word pig uh, a pig will eat a lot of food uh, hungry or not hungry he'll still eat this so to pick out is uh, it's just that you'll eat a lot of this right because you're so hungry uh, can you guys relate? Have you ever been hungry that you just want to eat so much? It doesn't matter if you're satisfied or not. That you, It's so tasty. You just want more and more. That's what it means to pick out. Right? Uh, so that that's a special term or a special slang that you'll hear. Uh, I picked out on the barbecue after mud riding. Or I picked out after drinking five beers on sausages or hot dogs. It's the same because it tastes so tasty, right? And as well as you'll see another word, yummy and yucky, right? So yummy, it, that slang is very special and you'll hear this a lot too. And you'll hear this from children a lot. So yummy means it's tasty, that's very good. And if you remember, I used the word uh, succulent last time, right? Succulent is uh, very juicy, yummy, good, right? Yucky is the opposite of this. So yucky means it's like, ah, gross, right? If you guys have a word that's similar to yucky uh, or yummy, share with me. What are some things that are yucky or, uh, yucky or yummy to you? Uh, give me some examples. Share with me. Do you think McDonald's is yummy? Or do you think Subway is yucky? Uh, share with me. Uh, what are some ways you can use this word even? Uh, it's not just about food. It can be about anything. It can be about, uh, for example, an attitude or a, a feeling, right? I have a yucky feeling. So it's like bad. Bad or it's not very tasty. It's so uh, yucky can be or yummy, right? So yummy is like, okay, so it may strange, sound strange to say I have a yummy feeling, but yucky is a different word. So to say yucky, think of bad, right? Yummy is like yummy for my tummy, right? You'll hear this. It's an analogy or an aneurysm. Uh, the uh, and using Miss Victoria's uh, beer reference, Budweiser. So to say a hot dog and Budweiser is yummy. So I'm thinking of that that's good, right? That's, it tastes good. Budweiser tastes good. Hot dog tastes good. So for yucky, think of bad, right? So a a cucumber and a beer may sound yucky, right? So that's so like. Think of like a cucumber and a beer, like it doesn't sound tasty, right? It doesn't sound very good. So think of yuck. So yucky. Uh, another word, uh, grub. I think that's super cool too. It's because you will hear. You will, you will definitely hear this. If you get the chance to uh, be in America and to experience some things, you will hear it. Yummy is yucky. It's mine. Exactly. Very very good, Miss Victoria. You're absolutely right. So yummy is a plus. It's very good and yucky is gross. 
thank you so much. You're absolutely right. So, uh, to eat cake is yummy. To eat vegetables are yucky. And so if you can relate to that. Remember, I keep using this word relate. It's, you'll hear this too. Because if you're saying, like, uh, I can relate to that. If you hear one, an American say this, like, oh, I relate to that. Or I relate to you. It's the same. It means I feel the same. Right? Uh, but this word, rub, I think is very special. And I really want to, to, for you guys to know this word, rub. Uh, because we do use this so much. I'm grubbing out. Uh, it means to eat. It's food. To go grab grub. Uh, the best way for you guys to honestly understand this word is is probably to think of a bird, right? So grub in the English language is like a worm, right? So think of what a bird eats. A bird, uh, this flying bird, he will eat this uh, this little worm, and that's what we call a grub, like a little small worm, this bug. We call this grub. So this bird will grab this uh, grub and eat this, and this food, right? So it's the best way to remember, but when you hear grub, it's, it mentions food. So if you hear me say, let's go grab a beer and some grub, I'm telling you, maybe I want to go have a beer, and uh, I want to have some food, all right? So that's the best way to remember this, but grub, and you will hear everyone say this, rub, grub. Uh, so, in the English language, a grub is, a, is this nasty little bug uh, that birds like to eat, worms. And so, uh, of course, I know it doesn't sound tasty when you're thinking about a cheeseburger, for example, right? Uh, but uh, it's a good way to remember. Uh, to remember, a grub is a worm, and a bird eats this, so you know that this is food for this bird. So, it's the same. Uh, also, in this presentation that I shared with you guys, uh, it has some history about American diners, and it shows American uh, culture, and it, it goes far back. It goes over 100 years ago when uh, people wanted to have food on the go. Yes, thank you so much, Miss Victoria. Thank you, booze. That is another one. So... When I say that uh, I want to go grab some booze, uh, I could be talking about this Budweiser, right? Or Stella, Stella Artois. Ah, it was. So booze was new for you? So, so booze, okay, that's great. Uh, so booze is an alcohol. It can be beer. It can be whiskey. It can be uh, anything that you like to drink that's alcoholic. So, uh, wine is a booze. Uh, champagne is a booze. Beer is a booze. Uh, so, this, and that's another great slang. Thank you for sharing that, uh, for reminding me of that, too. So, to have this booze, uh, let's go grab some booze. It can be about wine whiskey, champagne, uh, anything to deal with alcohol. I like to grub with my booze. That's to use two slang words uh, together, right? To grab uh, grub and booze. Uh, and that's why, and that's something that usually goes together with American culture, honestly, and mud riding. So we can take some booze, go and get dirty and mud riding and, and have some grub. Because it sounds yummy, right? Uh, so that's super cool, too. Uh, so booze, grub, we have pig out. Uh, let's see. One moment here. I'll get this pulled up. Because oh, I want to share with you guys this slang. Because it's what you're going to hear everywhere. And especially in the United States, it's more than just regular words. I know that you guys can uh, probably already know some English, but a lot of slang they don't teach. Uh, booze, cup of joe, right? So say we go and grab a grab some booze one night. We're drinking, we're eating some hot dogs, 
uh, the next morning, we're going to want a cup of joe, and that's a cup of coffee. Uh, you want some coffee to wake up to get this nasty feeling away, right? So that's what this means. A cup of joe. Uh, some different ways for you guys to tell, talk, talk about coffee. Do you, do you have a slang for coffee? Uh, do you, what about, um, what are some ways that you can use slangs in your own language? Uh, is it positive or is it minus? Uh, what are some things like uh, with food in general? What are some slang words? Uh, I want you guys to share with me because I know, I know what it is in English, but uh, to know different cultures is important. And I want to know uh, what you have, right? Uh, grinder is sandwiches, uh, like Subway. Think of Subway when you hear grinder or subs, right? And it's a long sandwich. It's a huge sandwich, uh, six inches or a foot long. Uh, lay off. I explained that to you guys, right? To lay off some fast food, to lay off the McDonald's, right? Uh, pick out a doggy bag. That's another big one, right? You like Subway? I like Subway. It's tasty, honestly, right? It's yummy. It's yummy. Because you can have, you get to make this. Uh, what about in, uh, let's see, Arena, tell me about the Subway where you're at. Uh, is it different from where you've been before? Is it, is it more tasty than, uh, is it, can you compare? Can you relate this Subway to other places? I mean, okay, okay. Do you like vegetables? Does, do you like a lot of vegetables? Do you like a lot of meat? Uh, I know Subway in the United States, we have a lot of options. Is it the same for you? Uh, can, can you relate to this? Is it, uh, does it change? Uh, tell me about this. Um, so, so doggy bag. So doggy bag just means to take home. Uh, so to say you didn't finish a meal, but you have a dog at home, right? And you want to put this in a, in a little package. Uh, and you want to take this home with you. Say to take home to your dog, for example. That's the best way to remember this too, doggy bag, right? Uh, to take this home, for, pretend that you want to take this to your dog. So it's a doggy bag. It just means to take this food home. So, uh... So you'll hear someone like a doggy bag is the food you take home from the restaurant if you don't finish this. Uh, because it, sometimes it can be a lot of food. I know in America, uh, the U.S., we, have, we, we like big things, right? We like to have way more than we need, honestly. So we'll take this home. And you can give to homeless. You can give to your pets, your dog or cat. But we use this term doggy bag. So... With doggy bag, think of you taking home to your pet. And that, it'll be an easy way for you to remember. Because it's in the name, right? Uh, so you guys, let's see, I only have a couple of minutes. So we talked about doggy bags. We talked about uh, some slang with you. Uh, we talked about mud riding. We've talked about uh, some different, some uh, many different things as far as uh, music even, the southern music. If you guys like, if you guys like to know more American music, maybe country, uh, we'll speak about this in the next lesson too. Uh, let me know what some music you like. Uh, let us know if you like rock and roll, if you like jazz, because in the United States we have a lot of uh, different cultures. So, um, whatever you like, let me know, and we'll speak about this. Uh, but in general, so go home. Uh, if you're sitting there today, uh, make some sentences on how, uh, how to use these words. Uh, think of some different, um, some foods. What are some foods that you like? Uh, remember, and, and too, guys, uh, check out the presentation that I've shared with you. Uh, it shares some history of where a lot of different, uh, foods come from. Uh, I know we like burgers coming from Mongolia, uh, to Russia, and then to Germany. And then it made its way to the United States, so some history. Really, right. So you have a choice, Miss Arena. So you have a choice between uh, vegetables and meat. 
I agree to have a choice is off is awesome, right? It's truly amazing to have this choice. And I think and that's and that's what this song was about too, Irina. Is that uh that you know, even here in the United States you have a choice, right? If you want vegetables, if you want meat, you have this, so it's super cool. Uh so I agree, and it, uh, so I agree with you completely. I relate. Uh, so guys, again, check out the check out the presentation I shared with you. Learn about some more history. Uh, thank you so much, Miss Victoria. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, but guys, listen, I will check up with you next week at the same time, eight o'clock. I will have some more music for you too, not just country. Uh, I'll have I'll share some with you guys some rock and roll some modern rock and roll that we have, and I'll have some more slang words for you too, uh, and so we'll share this and I'll share some more southern things with you maybe even some more southern food like pies, uh, and some things. But let us know what you like and what you want to know, and I will be more than happy to share with you. Uh, but I want to thank everyone that's watching today for for listening to me. And uh, thank you all so much for your support. And I hope each and every one of you have an amazing night. Alex, you are more than welcome. Miss Arena, you are more than welcome. Thank you. Y'all have a great night. And I really cannot wait to speak with you again till next week. Everyone have a great night. And I can't wait to speak again, okay? Uh, Bye-bye, everyone. Miss Victoria, bye-bye. Miss Mr. Alex, goodbye. Miss Arena, all of you, thank you.